All right, we are joined this morning by Sandra from the Madison Children's Museum. There's always a lot going on, and this month, it's really no different. As usual, you guys have a lot going on. We're going to start off with the not-so-good news for parents right away, I know. Uh, September 5th through 9th, you guys are going to be closed. We are closed, usually this week, um, for maintenance and cleaning. Mm -hmm. And so um, last year we didn't because we had just opened up. But right, yeah. we've been played hard with all <laughs> summer. And we, we need that time to clean and refurbish and maintain. Yes. So that this is our week that we really do heavy cleaning mm -hmm. and maintaining maintenance of all of our A lot of spaces. little hands and little feet yes, have come through there. Yes, and, yes, and big hands and big feet. Yes, and big hands and big feet too. So yes, it's time to uh, time to do a little yes. bit of cleanup. So September 5th through the 9th, if you wanted to head to the Children's Museum, unfortunately they will be closed for their cleanup. But then you guys mm -hmm. open back up. And yes. like I said, you got a lot going on. Uh, coming up this month. And the first thing we want to talk about is your Kids for Peace Day. Exactly. Um, this is our, I think, probably our 12th or 13th year of doing right. an annual Kids for Peace Day. Mm -hmm. It coincides roughly around the time of the International Children's Peace Day. Okay. Um, and so we uh, have outside performances uh, that starting at 10 o'clock, which are free, as okay. well as art studio activities and rooftop performances in the museum that are free with admission. Okay. And this is going to be on September the 10th so Saturday the 10th following yes your so we're closed Labor Day mm -hmm. that Monday through Friday and then mm -hmm. we uh, open back up with an, a really lovely family celebration okay and you said you guys have been doing this for well more than a decade yeah now. so it you know it, it's just one of our annual events and it, it, it is a lovely way to remind you know our community of you know a youth and the reason to be peaceful so uh, how do the kids respond to this event what do they think of it when they come in there you know I think I think it's it's great it's a great time to you know to sing and mm -hmm. dance and do art and just it is sort of a, a little bit of that end of summer uh, transitioning sure. kind of yep. thing yep, absolutely. and um, you know very often we have different types of art um, exhibits we've done many different ways of celebrating this day so mm -hmm. Um, so we're excited about it. Sounds great. All right, so that's on September 10th. Uh, mm -hmm. What else do you guys have coming up this well, month? Well, I think one of the biggest things we need to let everyone know about, mm -hmm. and all this information is on our website, and that is our hours will be changing um, this fall. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we found, it was really ambitious to be open seven days a week, mm -hmm. all year round. Yep. Um, a little more ambitious than we could handle. <laughs> what we found was that it was really hard to stay on top sure. of Main, uh, maintenance and cleaning. Mm -hmm. So we will be closed Mondays for the school year. Okay. So September through um, June 1st will be closed. We will be open on Mondays during school break times and um, during mm -hmm. the summer months. Also, our Thursday evenings, we have been open until 8 p.m. Okay. We are switching our um, evening time to Wednesdays, and we're okay. only open the first Wednesday of every month. Okay. Um, so we're, we have Twilight Wednesdays, mm -hmm. the first Wednesday of every month from 5 to 8 p.m., and it's free admission. Okay. What we found is that we just weren't getting enough um, visitation on the other um, evenings. Mm -hmm. So we're keeping our free evening um, and then just um, deleting the others. Okay, so a little bit of a scale back for you guys. And a little again, bit, Just to help yes. with some of that maintenance and cleaning. Yeah, and give us a little breathing orderly. space, yes. keep everything clean. Because it does reduce our um, time where we have to close um, exhibits for maintenance oh, or, sure. or repair yeah, during our open hours. So this gives us that time to do that. Okay, all right, Sandra, we appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for thank stopping you. in. Again, a lot going on at the Children Muse Children's Museum. Things are constantly changing. Uh, we appreciate you taking some time thank out of your you. busy schedule to come down here and uh, speak with us. So thank you again.